Hey, this is David. I want to talk to you about my newest book, 52 Prepper Projects, a project a week to help you prepare for the unpredictable. A lot of this stuff came out of the blog, but it's not just a rehash of old information. We have a lot of new stuff in there and a lot of things that we have added from the original blog posts. Okay, And one of the things that we did is we put in a, a shopping list. Once a week, go out to the grocery store, spend just you know 5 or $10 some easy projects to do, some easy things to do. So at the end of about 27 weeks, you have a very uh, good disaster kit. You know, you're, you're well uh, beyond a 72 hour kit. And then we have a bunch of projects, which is the second phase of the book. Each project sort of builds upon the next. And the, the first projects, they're, they're designed to be weekly, but you know, you, you don't have to do them weekly. But the very first projects are very basic. How to build a bug out bag, how to build a 72 hour kit, how to store food. But then, like in this Mylar bag video, not only did we talk about things that we showed on the blog, but we also enhanced it and added new information. We have a whole section in this project on how to calculate out oxygen absorbers, how to know how much to use because too much is wasteful and not enough is ineffective. And then, you know, when you get to the mid-level projects, we start talking about medicine, you know, how to make uh, a garlic tincture, different antibiotic and antiseptic solutions, things that you can do maybe if you can't go to the pharmacy, right? Uh, we show how to do things alternatively, you know, like uh, wheat grinding. You know, we all know that we can grind wheat with a wheat grinder, but what happens if your wheat grinder breaks? Or what happens if you have to leave your home and you can't take everything with you? You stumble upon a co-op or, or a grocery store and you find some wheat, but you have nothing to grind it. So we talk about alternative methods of doing things. And then we do a whole bunch of recipes, particularly about cheese, because to me, making cheese at your home you know, number one, does it give you a skill to use all that uh, dehydrated milk that you might have stored and don't like the taste of, but also because it gives it gives you some confidence. If you can make cheese, you can pretty much tackle any recipe. You know, we have a lot of new projects that weren't covered in in the blog, things that you've never seen before, like, you know, maybe some blacksmith and how to make some knives, you know, how to make tools. So there's all sorts of good information. Some of it is is enhanced from the blog. Some of the stuff are things that, that have never been shown before on the TNGun.com website. But uh, all in all, I think that this is a book that a lot of people can enjoy, whether you're a prepper or you're into doing things yourself or you're frugal or, you know, you just, you just want a little bit of extra information. So... Um, I appreciate you listening to this, and, and I hope that you check out the book. And if you do get the book, uh, please review it. Let me know what you think. Thank you.